Uh, as they take it down, this camo player two go down. That's going to be three. Nice shot by Sav on the shield player with the rail. But um, that's, I, I really do think Sav's story um, is, is only things are exploding. People are clambering everywhere. And Zane plans himself a double and an assist to match it. It's absolutely incredible to watch these guys kind of just form their like their fight out through this what appears to be the chaos, but then it has to make sense to these guys. Oh. <laughs> As he turns and gets to stay where he's been at. So, I mean, even Sentinels is able to do things like that. Um, and with the pace that they play at, and I expect, uh, I expect that to give Team to punch that flag in somehow. And with it, they're able to tie this game up. Fun for no stranger to capture the flag, especially when you have Soul Snipe on your team and you have Druck landing his shots looking for a triple. And his efforts, it looks like the flag's being returned and a second one being pulled out once again. Alec with the 28. This is a very lopsided scoreline on the side of Fun Four, and they're not letting up. We're seeing some nice shots come in from Soul Snipe as he drops confidence of going into game three. Coliseum Slayer is one of those game types that can really spark. Play for him. Yeah, and the last time we saw Druck on this map, he absolutely went off. I expect to see something similar from him if he wants to have his team win. And it looks like he has every intention picking up an early double. Then lands some good shots on the snake fight. Great shot by Drug so far, picking up four straight kills, making a killing spree of pushing blue here because he knows that there's players around him. He does hear one below him. And because of it, he's able to catch Frosty off guard. And then he, and my question's wrong here, seeing how powerful they've been able to play some of these game types. This is an absolute slaughter right now. And the fact that they were able to make sure Sentinels burn the overshield, kill three of them while doing so, and get control of the camo, has done so much for this mid-game storyline that results in a 52 to 10. And instead of going for camo, Eco's gonna opt to OE across the map under the base and find I think that that's a little bit of just, um, you, you still need time to pick up the pace on Halo 5. Nice shots there by Neptune winning the double. Oh As he gets the triple, he gets the triple. Where's the O? Uh, spawning bubble of all these players. But you think with a little bit more map control as well as Neptune trades out with Frosty and that player in Nest, I was going to say he's going to get destroyed, but looks like he put up some fight before he went down. Either way, that's a reset of the next capture and uh, back to the draw to make any mistakes in these plays. A stellar flies forward. He does get a trade. That's at least something part of it being capped here. That Zane is a penguin with the defense. He does go down. Somebody else dives in and they will get the kill. And that will be a cap. But it's... Is it enough? That's, There's still that's game. I think Absolutely. it's got to be game, right? It's a killing spree for Snakebite. Still pressure from Snakebite. <laughs> the couple looking for a trip.